seated good morning. And a good morning is simply where you have legs straight and you're arching, you're lowering and so you're hinging at the hip and lowering down. That's a standing good morning. A seated good morning is essentially putting that in a shorter range of motion because you're not having to stand and go all the way up. But what that really does is it takes the hips and puts them at in, puts them at in range of motion. So if you're standing, your hips can rotate smoothly and allows you to get a full range of motion here. But when you're seated, those hips are up at your chest and now it's a little more difficult. So when you do this, the primary thing you're gonna feel is this rotation stiffness at the hips. Now that's gonna be the biggest limit limiter. As you lower down, you may feel stiff and your knees are gonna to wanna to come in and collapse. So what you wanna think about is pushing those knees out lower and forward, okay? Again, this is the only difference here from a traditional standing good morning is that your knees are up higher, which means that the rotation you get in and out is more limited. So to start here, you're gonna work on being able to lower all the way down, and the goal is to be able to touch your chest and your abs to the ground, okay? You lower down, you touch, and come back up. Now, if that's difficult to start, you can do one of two things. You can start with a bench or something that's about parallel, so your femurs are parallel to the bench. You can raise that up. So you can bring something here and touch and come back up. Again, the big focus here is keeping the arch in the back. So as you lower down your arch, touch the chest to come back up. Or secondarily, you can bring the bench higher. So you can raise it up higher. So again, what that's doing is bringing the femur, so it's not an in range of motion, giving you a little bit more rotation as you lower down. If this is stiff for you, this is something you're gonna to wanna to do every single day, getting a lot of repetitions in. And it doesn't have to be heavy or loaded, you're just thinking, lowering down, coming back up. And when you get stick, when you get stuck, don't just round here. Keep that arch in the back, think long spine, reaching all the way out and forward with your head. Now once you can do that, that's when you're gonna take the bar and start to load this up. Now, again, just like with the Jefferson Girl, we wanna start small, build resiliency over time, but we do want to be able to have strength and control in this range of motion. So the bar's on the back, reaching out long, lowering forward, touching the chest, coming right back up. Now notice, if the knees collapse in, I'm now compensating. So keep the knees out, go slowly, control, keep the arch in the back, and come back up. So stay long, lower forward, down, come back up. Now, the first goal here is to be able to do about 25% of your body weight for 10 reps. And then a long-term goal is to be able to do eventually your body weight on the bar for those five to 10 reps, okay? That's gonna take time, so don't rush this because as with anything, increases in improvements in mobility in your body happen over time. You can't force it, it needs a lot of volume and repetition, so be patient with the process, right? That's the seat of good morning.